dramatically. Um, you know, when I started with Pillow Thoughts, they were just pieces of me writing on a blog. Um, and now they've turned into much longer pieces, more thought out, I guess. Um, personal mixed with inspiration I find from my readers. So I tend to get a lot of inspiration from my readers these days, which is really cool. Look, the last, I would say, yeah, year to 18 months of uh, my life personally has been very difficult, um, but I'm here on the other side of it and I survived it. I think that a lot of readers who have been on this journey since the beginning um, have picked up on some of the changes um, in my own life. Um, so where there was a lot of I think negative changes for me, they've turned into positive changes. Um, and I hope just anybody coming in and joining the journey will see that, you know, I've survived a lot, I guess, in the last couple of years. Um, and I hope that that'll translate into their lives, that they can survive the things that they're going through too. veteran so saying I'm old <laughs> um yeah look I have been in this space for a while now and I think that it's really interesting for me to look at some of the new poets coming into the scene um because their story and the way that they're doing it is a little different to me uh I'm kind of unique in a sense that I don't have the biggest social media platform um I tend to you know sell more in bookstores. I mean, I've sold over 2 million books now um, and I don't have millions of followers on social media. So I think, you know, you, you're coming into the scene and a lot of the advice that's given is that you have to have these huge social media platforms, which I think is good to build an audience on social media and you do need that. Um, but there's other ways to do it. Uh, and I think the other thing I would say is not to be afraid of failure. Um, when I first released Pillow Thoughts, I also released another book called The Road Between. And Pillow Thoughts totally overshadowed um, The Road Between and not many people even knew about that book. Um, but, you know, five, six, seven years later, The Road Between is now entering, you know, the top 20, top 10 selling books spaces within poetry and it sort of made this little comeback um so yeah not to be afraid of failure because it doesn't necessarily mean failure just because um you put something out and it may not do so well in the beginning or it may take time to grow uh doesn't mean it won't um the only way that something won't grow is if you never put it out there Okay, I am not sure who made you believe that you were not a song or a poem or a walk on a bright, warm day. I cannot undo every moment that wove together to create this idea that you were only an afterthought, a book at the back of the shelf or a forgotten memory. But I can remind you that every time a wave crashes and we feel like the air is knocked out of our lungs, there is a calmer wave that follows.